Aquamarmic channel. My name is Marielle and today I'm doing the ultimate review of the monofins for mermaids. I have 12 different kinds of monofin I will share with you, tell my tips and tricks and what's the best for which kind of situation and what you want to do with that. Then let's start right away. 12 monofins, then we have Fin Fun, Suntail, the Aquarius from Finnis, the Hydra from Cat's Mermaid, the Magic Tail, Aqua Mermaid Fin, Monofin from Linden Mermaid, the Finnis Foil, the Shooter from Finnis, the X-Large Monofin from Aqua Mermaid, the Luna from Finnis, and the Pink Tail from China that we don't really know who's manufacturing. There is three main categories. The one for beginners, I would say everything that has near clean foot pockets like little socks or little plastic toys for really small kids. Those are the ones for beginners who wants to play in pools, have the look of a mermaid, but just want a toy and have fun with it. Those ones include the sun tail, the magic tail, fin fun, and some Chinese manufacturers. Second category is for intermediates. I would say teen and adults who are looking for sport equipment to practice swimming, learn some skills, get some core workout and um, something durable. They can use many times and that will still stay hold together for a long time. I would say the Linden is part of those, Aqua Mermaid, Finis Full and the Aquarius. All of those are really resistant. I will not be scared to use them many times in pools, hit them on the side of the pool. They will last and you will be able to work out and learn a lot of moves with them. The last category is for professional expert. If you're looking something for power endurance, for speeding and racing to get a lot of technique out of them, the shooter, the hydra, the X-Large from Aquamarine, the Luna, those tails will give you tons of power. If you want to do free diving, if you want to go in the ocean, place with current, I would recommend them for adults because they're pretty big. You need to be strong, be really good in the water to use those. We'll talk about different features of all those fins, about the foot pockets, the rigidity of the blade, the material they use in those fins, safety, durability, the look, comfort level, the sizing. Here we have the Shooter Monofin from Fix. It's a short and rigid blade. This one has a foot pocket, individual foot pocket that I'll one size. The blade is made out of fiberglass and then we have rubber for the foot pocket that is quite comfortable. It's really rigid mainly. This one is for swimmers who want to have performance, who want to go fast, who want to make short little kicks. You see it's not really bendable. In the water it will bend because you push so much water with your core and with a lot of power but it's really stiff. It's heavy and it's really rigid. It's good for strength training for your core, your abs, your glutes. It works really well if you want to practice your dolphin kick, some butterfly stroke, some drills with the streamlining, putting your arms up and just doing a big, nice wave with your body. It's easy to, know, to improve and see what you're doing good and what you're doing wrong. Well. You're gonna have a really strong and powerful dolphin kick with this fit. I went for the size medium for female it's for seven and a half to nine foot size and um, I really like it. I feel it's so much power. The only thing I will warn you with is that it's really sharp and it, it cuts. Then uh, don't walk with it uh, and bring it tro close to your legs or go close to someone. You're gonna, it's going to be scraping and cutting. Then I hurt a bit myself a few times. Uh, then make sure that if you're using this for adults, make sure to have a lot of space and then you can practice safely and have tons of power and get in good shape for this one. Let's continue with the Finis Foil. This monofin that's much smaller, it's much more flexible. It's an injection mold, it's a one piece. It's one size, this one is the size small. Mainly it's not too big and it's easy to travel and it's really good to practice swimming. If there's a lot of people, you're not gonna hurt anyone. Uh, it's really small, you can 
feel the move of the power of this little fin, uh, but you don't take too much space. It's really flexible and it's really comfortable material to put in your feet. Uh, you feel like, like in slippers, I feel they're really comfortable. Uh, you have little space here for your toes to come out. That makes it even more comfortable. You get a good power out of it. Not as much as the shooter because it's much more flexible, but good one to start. Also, you have individual foot pockets that keeps your legs apart from each other. That way your ankles doesn't rub together. And we continue with the Aquarius from Finis. This one is considered more like the toy line of Finis uh, for to play in the pool for teens and kids. They have individual foot pocket here, uh, but your feet are really close together uh, compared to the other one. Your feet are more apart and uh, stable. Uh, there is one big strap behind it uh, that is adjustable. Then you just remove it from the little clip. It's easy and it's fast and it won't move when you clip it back inside the, the little hole. When you have only one strap, it tends to get out of your feet easier. On top, there is um, a nice pattern of scales and 3D design. Something to notice is that this is really thin and really sharp, uh, really pointy here. Then make sure to not to have a little space around you to not hit anyone with that little spike. Also, it's really stiff. Uh, you're gonna get some power out of this fin. Uh, I fell in the water. I was really crisping my feet to keep it on for the, the strap to not move around. Also, you notice there's little holes in it. Um, I think it's just for design. Normally, a fin, you don't want any holes because you want to put as much water possible. Then it doesn't really make a big change, but I'm thinking why they put those holes there. I don't know exactly. And at the back, you have a little rubber thing, I think, just to not slip at the bottom of the pool. Let's continue with the neoprene monofin type. Then you have the sun tail that is a plastic mold in one piece with a neoprene pocket. Um, then I really like this one because it's quite thick. It's about seven millimeters thick and it's flexible but still stiff. Then you will get a lot of power from it and it won't bend too much but you still, I feel it, it feels really good in the water. This one you, you have your, a little sock pocket Then you put your two feet inside. Inside there's a little mesh that prevents a little bit your feet from slipping around inside. Also they added Velcro to keep your feet really stable. When you put it on, make sure to tie the Velcro really tight uh, to make sure your toes, your ankles, nothing is moving. And that's a really good feature to have those Velcro on top of it and the, the net inside. Fin fun, another neoprene tail. Um, this one is made out of a plastic insert too. It's a thinner, it's about three to four millimeters thick. Then you got much more flexibility in this one uh, compared to the one before. Uh, that means you, it's, you get less power from it. It's uh, looser. Uh, you put your two feet inside those holes. Inside, your, your feet are directly on the plastic and it's slippery and you, you're not really tied anywhere. Then you can be moving freely, your feet mainly. Uh, when you push up, your feet are kind of moving all around that thin. They added some more padding at the tips to protect the fabric that goes on top of it. The Magic Tail, here's another neoprene pockets same same way two foot pockets here uh, I like the velcro on top also to keep your feet together close to the fin and not go everywhere then that's a good feature inside it's plexiglass this is a bit dangerous if it breaks uh, it's really thin about three millimeters thick if a plexiglass breaks it's gonna be sharp and you don't want your feet to be close to sharp pieces of plastic um, then really make sure to not stand up on it, put a lot of weight. What happened with mine is I broke one side a little tip. The other side you see it's more flexible like this, the other one is, is broken. I can still swim with it and it doesn't show, um, but that's what happened after maybe two years of using it a lot. Um, also inside here they added little velcro to make sure it doesn't open like this. And that's a good feature. For also this one, they added a, a little bit of layer at the bottom for a place 
for your heels. Something you need to be aware with those ones with fabric is that fabric doesn't last forever. Uh, nothing lasts forever, but it, sometimes it, it can kind of stretch out um, when you use it and over time, sometimes the seams can break apart. Um, some little treads can come out. Then it's pretty good to play as a toy to look to have the look of the beautiful mermaid. But if you're looking for something that will resist for a really long time for training every day, I will not recommend the fabric one with neoprene. Let's continue. Uh, here's the linden monofin. It's a beautiful monofin, like the shape. Here we have a silicone on the edge uh, that makes the point really soft, and then we have. The foot pocket really comfortable too. And here they have an adjustable strap, individual foot pocket. You can remove the hook, turning it, and then remove it. Uh, they added like rubber um, inside uh, for the back. That way it's really comfortable for your heels. Also a little um, rope that you can pull them up. A lot of companies go more for rubber for the strap, but they go with fabric. That's an interesting play also. Um, this one is more for kids. I tried it on, it's a bit small for me, but I can still fit in it. I would say really good look, pretty stiff. It's still a bit of flexibility. I cannot bend it too much right now, but when you're going to pull, you're going to feel the power from the fin. I think it's a really good one to start for kids. The Aqua Mermaid fin is made out of resistant plastic at the top, a comfortable uh, rubber for the bottom, rubber for the straps. Here, individual foot pockets that are separate from each other. Your feet won't touch each other. The straps are adjustable with little hooks. For flexibility, you can fold it a little bit, but you have some rigidity in it that gives you power and speed. Uh, this one is not too big. That way also it allows you to cut in the water easily if you want to do a lot of figures, um, acrobatic spins, advanced move. The Hydra Fin from Cat's Mermaid. This one is much bigger. It's, I would recommend it to go in the ocean, in lakes, in open water. You get a lot of power from that big fin. It's made of plastic. Uh, it, there's three uh, layers of, of how thick it is that gives the, the rigidity to it. It's flexible, some kind of flexible, uh, but you get a lot of power because it's so big. Also, it's really comfortable. You have some rubber foot pockets, individual. You have a good space in between your feet uh, for your ankles to not rub together. Also, you have a lot of flexibility to adjust the size. Uh, they have um, little straps like this. You can put on the side and adjust how you want. Uh, this one for the shoe size, it's from seven to 10, a woman shoe. Um, also those uh, little plastic, little strap, uh, they're a bit delicate, I feel, or it's a bit tricky sometimes to know how to adjust it, but you can lift it and adjust them. And to, to make them tighter, it's really easy. You just pull on the little hook here. The only thing I will be warning you is that I'm all, I am always scared to lose those straps because they don't stay on when uh, your feet are not in it. When your feet are inside, no problem, they won't move. But if you don't have your feet, uh, sometimes they just move uh, and you can lose them. And be careful about this. Little pink mermaid tail. I don't really know who's manufacturing. There's no really brand you can buy them. Amazon, Alibaba, different places from China directly. Really for little kids, really small. Um, no, not really flexible, uh, really pointy also. If you want to put the fabric on top, it may, uh, it's pretty sharp. It's about one or two millimeters thick. Your feet will be together, uh, touching each other. Not the best for the ankles. The system of strap is mainly just an elastic that you make a little nut on the side. Then uh, it's really, really basic, uh, cheapest you can get. Uh, I would use it for kids who just want to play around a few hours, get the look, but nothing for training and serious swimming in this. Aqua Mermaid X Large Tail. This one is for feet size 10 to 13. And if you are, have larger feet, bigger feet of your merman, this is the one for you. It's pretty big, you get a lot of power from it. It's not super flexible, then it's really stiff for you to push a lot of water, I'll get a lot of power. It may be harder 
at the beginning because you need to put so much water, but you will feel it in your core, great for fitness activity. It's rubber foot pockets, really comfortable, keep your feet apart. Also, you can adjust it with those little straps that you can put on. Also, make sure to not lose them. Sometimes they can fall uh, if they are not in your feet uh, tied up, um, but that's how you can, you can just tie it up by pulling on it. Nice curvy line and it comes in blue. Now let's talk about the Luna Monofin by Penis. It's a really big fit. I really like it if you're looking for something comfortable. This is the, one of the most comfiest fin I've tried. It's fully made out of silicone. It's flexible. It's kind of a bit translucent. You can see the, the light go through. Uh, you see here it's blue at the top, green at the bottom. There is nice scales pattern on top of the feet. The feet are individual foot pockets. This fin is in the category of sport equipment. I would say you get good power, it's good for practicing, it's easy to travel with it because it's flexible. You can fold it, no worries. And that will affect um, the shape of it. It's super flexible and it will take back its shape after you fold it for a while. And if you put it in your suitcase, then you can just fold it like this if you want, make it white small individual foot pockets with straps then it's many little holes buckles that you can just go put through that way you can adjust it then for the luna fin it's really comfortable it's good propulsion you have a lot of flexibility you get some power out of it but it's really flexible then you don't get you as much power as if you were looking with a really stiff fin but because it's big you get some some speed out of it and I think the look is really nice and the water really flowy. This fin is heavy. I would say it's at least triple most of the other fin. I would say it's about three pounds. It's gonna take you a bit more power in the water, more strength with your legs to push up and down because it's fully silicone. It's a bit heavier but that makes it more also resistant. You can scratch it, you can put it on concrete, it's gonna stay nice. I've been using a while and nothing really changed about this and it's uh, really resistant. Here you have space for your toes to come out, then it makes it really comfy. This fin size is really flexible. It's for feet between four to nine size and it's really flexible according if you have big or small. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have other monofins I didn't check and you want me to do a review about it and let me know if you already bought one of those and what you think. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!